All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Also, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's laboring his work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of that great multitude that are listening to these videos and that are serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. All right. So I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another daily exhortation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. All right. So I'm going to start at Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. It reads, think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came, Salakia, think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, and this is, this is written in red letters. All right. And we know that our Lord and Savior, he wrote these words. Okay, it says, think not that I've come to send peace on the earth. Okay, and the Lord, he ain't come to send peace on the earth. All right. You know, is, is the, uh, look at the current state of this world. Okay, there's no peace. Uh, there's no peace. Okay, and uh, the love of many is waxing cold. Okay, you hear wars and rumors of wars. All right, pestilence. All right, so the Lord, He ain't come to send peace on the earth. All right, He said, I come not to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, and what you do with a sword? All right, a sword that is a killing instrument. All right. And that's what the Lord is coming to do, man. All right. The Lord is coming to slay. All right. Two thirds of our people. All right. And these heathen nations. All right. And the Lord says, first, uh, Peter's four and 17, that he's going to start at, at his house first, man. All right. The Lord is going to start what you so-called black, Hispanic and Native Americans. All right. Why? Because the laws has been given to us. Okay. And what the Lord says, um, if they should not reign over me, bring them hither and slay them. All right. So it's either you're gonna serve the Lord, all right, or you're gonna or you're gonna uh or you're gonna receive death, man. Okay, and that's what's coming in this earth, all right. And uh let me... all right, let me go to Zephaniah chapter one, and I'll start at ver verse 14. The great day of the Lord, Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shah is near. It is near and hastes greatly. Okay. And how do we know that the day of the Lord is near? All right. Matthew 24 and verse 7. All right. You know, it, it warns us of, of the signs of the times. Okay. You know, you hear wars and rumors of wars. All right. You got pestilence um, in, in the earth. Okay. Up wars of the people. All right. Famines. Okay. You uh, old men are going to be dreaming visions. Young men prophesying. You know, there, there is. Visions, all right, brothers are having visions, you know, if not every day, every other day, okay, and and and, and these are the signs of the time, man, all right, you know, you, you have the different, um, you have the different signs in the heavens, all right, you got all these lunar, uh, lunar eclipse, all right, you got the blood wolf, you got the blood moons, okay, you know, the different signs in the heavens. OK, so this is how we know that the day of the Lord is near, man. All right. And, and you see an RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, according to the Holy Scriptures. OK, you see that getting pushed out. All right. The world slowly moving into a caste society. OK, you got people wearing masks. OK, everywhere you go, you people driving, uh, driving in their car by themselves with masks on. All right. And it says, even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. All right. So the mighty man. All right. You know, you, you got these niggas in the army. All right. They're going to be crying because they're going to be uh, they're going to be fighting against the Lord. All right. These niggas on your block. All right. You know, these uh, these super thug niggas. All right. These gang beggars. Hey, they're going to be crying in, 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 the, uh, um, in this day, man. All right. That's how that's how bad it was going to be. All right, let's keep reading. It says, verse 15, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress. All right, so the Lord, he's coming back furious, okay? And and, and if you're not on on, on, on a good side of Yahweh Shai, all right, you're going to die, man. All right, point blank, period. The day of the Lord is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, okay? And people in distress right now, all right? You know, the um, uh, um, unemployment is at an all-time high, all right? 
people uh, people struggling to pay their bills. You know, people struggling to eat. All right. Look, look at the state of Houston, man. All right. People was in, in, in distress. OK, so imagine the time of uh, uh, imagine the day of the Lord, man. All right. Imagine Jacob's trouble. All right. Imagine when you can't go to the stores and, um, and, and, and buy any food. OK, it says a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. All right. And our people think that the day of the Lord all right, it's going to be all sunshine. It's going to be uh, roses. All right, the Lord is coming back to save everybody. You know, that's what these Christian churches has been pushing to our people. They think that the day of the Lord, you know, is going to be a beautiful day. All right, the Lord is going to come and, 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 and hold hands with, with, with all nations. All right. Hey, but our churches, they, they, they've been lying to you people, man. All right, verse 16, a day of, of the trumpets and alarm against the fenced cities. And against the high towers, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. All right. Hey, there's going to be a lot of dead bodies in this day, man. All right. It, it, you, 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 you going, people are going to be so used to seeing this. All right. You know, a hey, people is going to be people bodies are going, are going to be uh, laying there on the floor. All right. Because of the day in the trouble. All right. A hey, Amalam not coming to, um, to, to, to pick up these dead bodies. All right. You know, and, and, and ain't no, ain't going to be no funerals in that day. All right. And people's bodies just going to be laying on the floor as dumb. All right. And when you see um, dung on the sidewalk, you know what you do? You just walk past it. OK. And this this is the day of the Lord, man. All right. And read this last one, Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Right, man. Your, your, your silver, your gold, all right, your money, your riches. All right. Proverbs 11 and 4 said, riches profit not in the day of wrath. All right. You're going to be able to bribe the Lord. All right. Second Peter 3 and 10. But the but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, man. All right. The Lord, he's going to come back as a thief in the night. All right. And one thing about a thief. All right. You don't know when, when, when he's going to come. All right. He come at late at late hours. All right. When, when, when you're not home, when you're not expecting it. Hey, and that's how the Lord is going to come back. All right. To, to, to the to the two thirds of our people and the rest of these nations. All right. The elect. All right. We're we're. Uh, we're, we're, we're paying attention to the signs, all right? That day is not going to overtake us like a thief in the night, all right? Because we're paying attention to the news, all right? We're paying attention to the prophecies, all right? We're hastening in the coming of the day of the Lord, all right? And it says, in the which the heavens shall pass with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, all right? And that's talking about those missiles, man, all right? You know, Malachi 4 and 1 says, it shall, it shall leave neither root nor branch, all right. Ain't nothing going to be left here in America. All right. You're not going to be able to tell the difference from California to Florida. All right. You know, you're not going to be able to tell where where, uh, where 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 Illinois is at. All right. Where Mexico is at. Hey, man, this place is going to be totally destroyed. All right. And the only thing that's going to dwell here is is uh, is is desert animals. All right. And it says the heat. I mean, the the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All right, man. All right, ain't nothing gonna be left here, man. Okay, all the all your works that you've been doing. All right, you know your dream house. You know your dream cars. All right, every everything that's in this place is gonna be totally destroyed, man. All right, and that's why you gotta and that's why you gotta set your affections on the things above, man. All right, because this place is gonna be destroyed. All right, this place is gonna be desolate. Okay. And that's why you can't have no attachments here. All right. You know, your, uh, your your cars, you know, your jewelry. OK. You know, you're not going to be able to take nothing with you, man. All right. The flesh and blood should not inherit the kingdom of heaven. All right. You're not even, you're not even going to be able to take this flesh with you, man. All right. And let me get the next scripture. It's Amos chapter five and verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. All right. And woe means destruction. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Verse 19. As as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him 
or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Okay, so, hey, man, this is how them, the, 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 that's, you're not going to be able to escape them plagues, man. All right. You know, because um, you, 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 you might escape famine. All right. But then you're going to get killed by the sword. All right. You might escape the sword and you might escape famine. All right. But you ain't going to escape that pestilence. All right. Hey, man, this is this is this is the day of the Lord, man. All right. And 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 all the ones that done wickedly, you know, all the sinners of my people, the Lord says, shall die by the sword. OK, and you're not going to be able to escape the day of the Lord, man. All right. Your doomsday uh, plan ain't going to work. All right. Your bunkers. OK, this is Amos chapter nine and verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All the sinners are going to die, okay? You ain't going to be able to escape, all right? Your, your, your guns ain't going to save you, all right? Your money not going to save you, all right? Nothing, you're not going to be able to escape, man, all right? All right, because this, this is, it, we're, we're talking about the kings of kings, the lord of lords, man, all right? How about Shema Shai, man, all right? You know, you people, you, 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 you can't outthink the most high. All right, you're 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 actually controlled by the Most High. You have a Bashim Al Shai. All right, your thoughts, he know. All right, what you thinking? All right, what you gonna do next? You know your your, your plans. Okay, you, you're not gonna be able to escape this day, man. All right. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter twenty-five and verse thirty-three. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, nor gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground. Okay, so ain't nobody going to be, be lamenting for your dead body. All right, ain't nobody going to be crying. All right, ain't going to be no funerals. You know, your body just going to be left there dead. All right, neither gathered nor buried. Okay, hey, so your body is you, going to be left there dead man all right and it ain't gonna be enough time for uh people ain't gonna be mourning over you all right this is we're talking about the uh the the worst thing that ever happened on the face of the earth man all right and this is the day of the lord man this is this is what's coming down the pipeline all right so so how should you be conducting yourself man all right you should be repenting all right you should be um praying to the lord all right, you should be casting off your sins, okay? Getting right for this day, man, all right? Because the ones that don't uh, repent, the ones that, that's not seeking the Lord, man, all right? They're, 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 they're going to be, it says, they shall not be lamented, nor gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the ground, man. And that's going to be, that's going to be you if you don't repent, all right? The Lord has said, he, the Lord says he's not slack concerning his promises, all right. So the Lord is letting you know what's going to happen to you uh, if, if you don't repent. All right. If you don't change your ways. All right. And. Uh, let me close out with one one more. Isaiah. Chapter 66. In verse 15, for behold, the Lord will come with fire. And with chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will he will the lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the lord shall be many all right the slain of the lord is going to be many okay they only that small remnant is going to be saved all right only that small remnant is going to receive salvation all right all right, one third of the nation of Israel, they're going to be saved out of this time. All right. And um, so it says slain of the Lord is going to be many. All right. And we ain't trying to be a part of that slain. OK. And that's why it's in your best interest. All right. To repent, man. All right. You know, to uh, depart away from this world, man, depart spiritually. All right. And this is Acts chapter 3 and 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. See, you got to repent, man. All right. And convert. All right. That your sins may be blotted out 
when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Okay? So you gotta repent, man. Alright? You gotta be you gotta repent so your sins can be blotted out. Okay? So that was just a short lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that's laboring this work for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that are part of the great multitude that are listening to these videos and that serving the Lord. To the best of their ability, I want to say Shalom and Tawada, Yahweh Bashim Shai for putting the spirit on me to make this lesson. Lord willing to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.